Hello all, Fish here with another video for you. Thank you for joining me. In today's video, I will be doing another movie review. Uh, today's review will be over the movie Thunderheart. Um, I have seen this movie once before, but it was, uh, when did this come out? Yeah, almost 30 years ago. So um, I really don't remember much about it. Um, after I watched it, I did remember a couple scenes, but that was about it. Other than that, it was like brand new to me. I, <laughs> I remember Val Kilmer being in it, Graham Greene, but that was about it. Um, like I said, a couple little scenes, uh, little flashes here and there. I was like, ooh, I remember this, I remember this. But other than that, I had no idea. Um, so, uh, once again, I'm going to go over a little bit of, like, the director, uh, writer, uh, things of that nature, and then I'll go over a little synopsis of the film. Uh, hopefully a little shorter than my last one, uh, Bury My Heart at Wounded Knee was rather long, pretty lengthy. I think it was my longest video yet, but, um, I will try to keep this one to a, a minimum, but, um, that last one, I just, I just had a lot to talk about in there. Um, and actually that one was more of a history lesson than, uh, anything else. Sorry about that. But I thought it meant to be, I thought it, uh, needed to be, uh, brought to light. So, uh, today, Thunderheart. So, uh, Thunderheart is an American neo-Western mystery, uh, directed by Michael Apted, uh, with an original screenplay by, uh, John Fusco. Um, it was released on April 13th. Uh, April 3rd, April 3rd, uh, 1992. Uh, it was made with a budget of 15 million and a, a grossed a box office of 22.6 million, roughly, a little over. Um, has a runtime of just under two hours. Um, it has an 89% on Rotten Tomatoes, which is really cool, awesome. Uh, this film uh, stars Val Kilmer as agent, uh, FBI agent Ray Lavoie. Uh, Sam Shepard as FBI agent Frank Curtell. Uh, Graham Greene as Walter Crowhorse. Uh, Fred Ward as Jack Milton. Uh, Sheila Tusi as Maggie Eagle Bear. And Ted Thin Elk as Grandpa Sam Reaches. Uh, this movie is only available on DVD, or um, you might be able to find it on streaming. I really didn't look into that. Sorry, guys. I do know that you can find it on DVD, obviously. So, there is no Blu-ray that I know of. So, <clears throat> with that being said, I'm going to jump right into this little uh, synopsis of the film. Uh, this film is based loosely upon events that happened in 1973 near Wounded Knee, um, it's a little funny that I watched this right after I watched, uh, Bury My Heart at Wounded Knee, uh, because this takes place on the same reservation, and, uh, so, uh, when I watched this, it hit a little, it hit a little different, because I just had just watched Bury My Heart at Wounded Knee, so that was pretty fresh, uh, with everything that went on in the past past, and here we are a hundred years later, kind of still dealing with the same stuff, uh, a little bit, but anyways, uh, this film uh, follows FBI agent uh, Ray Lavoie as he investigates a murder uh, on the Lakota Sioux Reservation in South Dakota. Um, he is sent by his, um, by his superiors because the fact that he is part Sioux. Um, he doesn't recognize that he's part Sioux. He has nothing to do with it. Um, he was, uh, I believe he was seven years old when his mom... Um, pretty much remarried, I guess, a couple of years later, remarried. His father passed away and he remarried and then just um, totally did not even talk about or acknowledge the Sioux part of his blood. Anyways, but that's why they sent him. Um, we learned that there's a civil unrest on the reservation between two factions. Um, one that is a little more pro-government and one that's a little more fighting for um, Native rights. Um, so this, um, this murder is of a council member, um, uh, Leo Fast Elk. Um, let's see, sorry, my notes, my notes, my notes, my notes. <laughs> sorry, okay. So um, he's sent to the reservation uh, where he meets his superior, um, Agent Frank Cotell, played by Sam Shepard. Uh, he's the lead investigator for this murder. Um, and they go to, uh, 
they go to discover uh, to where the body is discovered, and they run into uh, Walter Crowhorse, who is a member of the tribal police. Uh, yes, the natives have their own police. Um, here in Oklahoma, we call them the Light Horsemen. So um, tribal police is what they are, and they have we have our own court system and everything like that. So, um, but they run into the tribal police, um, Walter Crowhorse. Um, during this time, Frank uh, Cutell, the lead investigator, has been, uh, lead investigator, has been working with uh, Jack Milton. He's the uh, tribal council president and who has hired an unofficial militia to um, keep peace on the reservation, <clears throat> basically to intimidate anybody who goes against them. Um, yeah, 1970s uh, guns and stuff like that. Uh, intimidation yeah so anyways um, they have somebody that or Frank has somebody in mind for the suspect and they arrest the prime suspect who they believe it is that's Jimmy looks twice um, who happens to escape in this little uh, <laughs> it's kind of crazy how it happened but um, and then um, a gunfight ensues and he escapes um, but, so with him on the run, um, they continue their investigation. <clears throat> um, while his time on the res, uh, Ray encounters, uh, several individuals that help him with his investigation and also coming to terms with who he is as a suit, which I thought was really cool. Um, those individuals, um, being tribal elder, uh, Grandpa Sam Reaches, and uh, local school teacher Maggie Eagle Bear, um, and also uh, Walter Crowhorse, the tribal um, police officer. Grandpa helps Ray more, uh, Grandpa and Walter help Ray more with uh, his spiritual journey uh, throughout the film, and then Walter and Maggie help him um, more with the uh, murder investigation. Maggie's actually very instrumental in, in that. Um, ultimately, uh, we find out the real reasons why Leo Fastak was killed, and we also find out who the murderer is. Um, like I said, I didn't want to go too much into it. Like I said, the last one I know was like 30 minutes long, so I just wanted to touch on little things here, but, um, now my thoughts on this, this film, uh, presents itself as a kind of straightforward whodunit, um, but it has a lot of twists and turns in it. Um, it's crazy. It's like an onion. You peel back a layer and then you figure something else out and you peel something else back and then you, you just keep going and keep going until you get to the core, the heart of the matter, everything that everything that this all revolves around. And I did not see this movie ending the, the way it did. Um, which Or going the direction that it did. Um, it, was, it, was, it was a great um, journey. Great ride. Um, let's see, um, it's actually pretty weird also that, um, it has some sim similarities with Bearing My Heart at Wounded Knee, um, and the fact that it struggles between, um, the tribe and the U.S. government and, um, things like that, um, the acting in this was wonderful all around. I loved everybody's performances. Um, for me, uh, the MVP was uh, Graham Greene. He stole the show for me. He was com uh, provided comic relief, which is much needed in something like that. I don't know. So I don't know. You just don't, you don't want to stay too serious. You need some lighthearted moments, and he provided those, which was awesome. I really enjoyed his performance in this. Um, the cinematography was amazing. Once again, it's set in that backdrop of um, that up north, South Dakota, North Dakota, those kind of areas, uh, Canada. It's gorgeous up there. Uh, a lot of mountainous regions. Um, great, great cinematography. Uh, wonderful to be shot in. Um, I love that some of the stories and beliefs uh, that held uh, that are held by the Sioux are kind of universal. There are also things that we um, kind of believe as stories and beliefs here as Creeks, Seminoles, Uchis, Choctaws, Creek, or Cherokees believe. So I uh, really enjoyed that aspect of it. Like I said, the murder mystery part was 
uh, really cool. The coming to terms with who you are as a person was wonderful. The spiritual journey of uh, Ray, of Val Kilmer's character, was awesome. Uh, with that being said, I really, really enjoyed this movie. I will definitely be watching this over and over again. Um, like, uh, I guess, uh, like Siskel and Ebert said down there, two thumbs up. Make that three for me. I really enjoyed this movie. So if you have never seen Thunderheart, please, please check it out. It is a wonderful, wonderful movie. Um, Val Kilmer, Graham Greene, Sham Shepard, wonderful, wonderful performances. <clears throat> so with all that being said, if you like this video, uh, comment down below uh, your thoughts if you have seen it. Uh, if you haven't, check it out. Also, like this video, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification bell for any future content that I might provide for you. So thanks for joining me, guys. I hope you have a wonderful night. Bye.